Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. The Cultural Arts Playhouse has been entertaining Long Islanders for over 20 years. And after operating in smaller venues in Plainview and Roslyn, they're ready to expand. We had grown out of that space and we needed to expand. I needed my dancers to dance and have room. I needed to be able to build larger sets like you're seeing behind me right now. We needed to be able to, to draw larger crowds and that was the inspiration for this expansion. The new space has more seating, more space backstage, and a larger dressing room. It's a larger space compared to the old ones, but it's still a small, intimate space, and uh, it, it's just a, a much more exciting presentation. And speaking of presentation, the first production at the new venue will be Hairspray, which features Michael, who's been performing with the Cultural Arts Playhouse since he was five years old. My first show here was Jesus Christ Superstars in the children's course. My mom was like, you want to try this? And I was like, sure. She's stage manager for this show. She has been in a lot of shows as well. Growing up in the theater has given him a much deeper appreciation of show business. Having been on the other side of it and knowing people on the other side of it, like per as personally as my own mother, it's definitely, you see how much work is really going into it from all aspects of it. And it just it gives you much more respect for what's going on. Word of the new space is resonating among former CAP performers. I've known people that haven't worked here in years. They didn't work at the last space that now, oh, we're doing a new show in a new space. I want to come down. I want to see that. I want to audition for that. So it's, it's creating a lot of buzz as well. And everyone's excited about it, I would say. I love you. This is Noelle's first production with the Cultural Arts Playhouse, and she's excited to finally perform on the new stage. From our first location, it was a beautiful space, but the stage was tiny and very intimate, and here, there's so much room. Our first rehearsal here, everyone was just spreading out their arms and doing jumps and cartwheels. Nick is a professional actor that has played in large theaters throughout America, and he enjoys connecting with audiences in this type of setting. When you're in a bigger house, you can maybe see whoever's down in front of you, a couple of rows, you know, you, you know there are people up, you know there are people back, but when you're in a space like this, you look out, you can see everybody. It's, it's nice. Are you in any of those? Uh, yeah. over here. I'm in, I'm in. Um, this one, this one. Yeah, I'm going to that one. This one. Over the past 20 years, the Cultural Arts Playhouse has developed lots of young talent, and some, like Ileana, have become part of the family. I'm the resident choreographer of CAP. I started, I wouldn't talk to anyone, I was very shy. And my first year at CAP, I, I was still really shy. And something happened, I had wonderful teachers here, and, and I came out of my shell, and I didn't think that I'd end up like with a career in theater. And I know a lot of, the, of my teachers when I was younger, they thought I would quit. And as a choreographer, she's loving the extra elbow room. Well, we can have more dancers on stage, which is always great, so more people can shine. And the steps can be bigger and they can be larger than life and you can really just like impress the audience. Jared is Bruce's son and he was born into this life of theater. I don't know, I kind of just grew up being at the theater every day and then, I don't know, eventually I just came to that age where I was able to be in like the children's chorus of one of the shows. As a true team player, Jared is comfortable on and off the stage. I've helped out with lights too. I've uh, helped out backstage, helped building, painting, and everything. But I like playing in the pits too. While the Cultural Arts Playhouse is excited about this expansion, they are most proud of the success of their students. We have an acting school, very prestigious acting program. We start them in first grade through college, and we've had such a wonderful success rate. In the last seven to 10 years, we've seen 30 of our students go directly to the Broadway stage. And that's the kind of acting head start that even a pro wishes he had. I grew up in Queens, so like I wish I knew about this when I was growing up, because I'm sure my mom would have brought me right out here. 